Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing this adorable puppy. In order to help get the proportions right, let's start with a tile so we can create a grid which will help us determine where to place things for the puppy. So in order to form our tile grid, it's kind of hard to see with the pencil that I used here, so I'm going to be using a thicker pencil and a little bit thicker line so you can see. I have two doors up here that are at an angle, so I'm going to draw mostly straight line but with a little bit of an angle. And then I'm going to draw a second line underneath. So that this is the edge of our doors. Then we have the doors and there's a border to these particular doors. I'm going to add the border now. Okay, so our first step is done. We drew the doors, so now we have to draw the tiles. So there's a little bit of a lip on the tile. So we'll draw a thin tile here to show that. And then the edge of the tile is a little bit to the left of the doors the opening for the doors and then there's another edge over here and then I'm going to draw so this would be where the grout would go in the tile okay now let's draw it at an angle for the main floor and then we're going to want to draw with that same angle that we just used on the smaller. You can use a ruler if you'd like this to be more precise. You can also use another pencil. So we have that line, and then there's one more line over here. Okay, so we put our grout lines going this way. We've talked about perspective in some of our previous videos, so it's going to be smaller, farther away, and then as it gets closer, it's going to be bigger. So our tile is going to be pretty thin up here. Once we draw the grout lines, then we'll draw tile down here now like I said it's going to be thicker so this tile and this tile are exactly the same size but because this one's further away we're having about an inch and this is about an, two inches or an inch and a half and then the closest tile goes off the page Now that we have our tile drawn and it helps us with the grid, the puppy's going to go in these four squares right here. So let's get an idea of where we want to place things. 
So the first thing that I would start with is this ear because it comes right about in the center of our, our X. So I'm gonna draw a curved triangle to help place our ear. Then let's place this second ear then let's draw the body. So the body comes out pretty far. And it goes right through the middle of the tile and then into the second tile here. And then the paw comes down to the edge of this front tile. And then for the head, I want to connect the ears. The left side of his head comes into the middle of the tile. Right now I'm just sketching shapes. I'll go in and add the details later on. I just want to have an idea of where I'm going to put things to make sure that the proportions are the way that I want them to look. And then I'll put his paw here. Let's take a step back. I think this should come out more. You can erase the grout lines once you have an idea of where you want your puppy to be placed in the scene. I think my head is coming down a little too far, so I'm going to trim that. This arm now that we have our proximate proportions for the puppy let's start working on the eyes since that's one of the most important parts who can resist puppy dog eyes now I have my outline, I'm going to add the pupil. You want to make sure you save a dot for the highlight and you can color in around the dot. And then let's do the other side. Save some room for the nose. Now the second eye should be about the same height. If you're having trouble, you can take a picture or use a picture you have of your pet. And then you can make the graph like what we're, we did with the tile. You could draw, if it's your only picture, make sure you make a copy. But once you make the copy, you can draw the lines right on it so you know exactly where to place things and it'll help when you're doing these proportions because this can be a little tricky. Alright, um, we want another highlight dot to darken the edge of the eye. Okay, once you're happy with the eyes, you move on to the nose. The nose should be down towards the bottom here. Now you do a very dark half moon and then fade out as you work your way up. Let's draw on the nose. Now that we have our eyes. I like to draw the eyes first because they're the most important part and then you can work your way out and adjust the proportions as you go. Alright, so this particular puppy has some shading near the eyes and nose. 
I would highly advise trying to get your shading and everything that you can get done with your with your number two pencil first while well, it's easy to erase and then go back over it with the colors to give it that nice vibrant fur. Now let's start on the ear. I don't want to put the full force yet because I'm not sure if I have the proportions the way that I want them. So I'm just going to start placing half circle and a triangle and then there's another oval inside the ear. And then on this side Yeah, floppy ear, which is what makes puppies adorable. Darken this up a bit. And then this particular puppy has long hair. So I'm going to really emphasize my strokes so that I can show the long strands of hair. Okay, and then let's do the paw. So I'm going to erase my preliminary sketch. And then I want there to be paw. And then we'll have another. And then let's add the white part of body that comes down and up we have V shape and I'm gonna extend his arm a bit or her arm a bit So now that we start working on that, let me start drawing the long hairs in the body. If you're working with a short haired animal, then just shorten your strokes. Start to have our puppy form, so now let's go in and add some of the color. Let's start with the body. So, I would recommend using a gold first. And we'll go over those sections that we did with our number two pencil. Again, Keep the strokes long and bold. We want to be able to see that hair. And then I'm gonna go in and fill in the white areas. I'm gonna fill in the fur. I didn't do the whole body with the number two pencil because I wanted to use that for the shading. And since the fur is never just gonna be in one direction, you wanna Add some different directions, similar to the cross hatching we were talking about last week. Okay, now I'm going to add my light brown, which has a lot of red in it. Starting with the number two pencil strokes. And then I go in and add the rest of the fur. And then again, make sure that we have hairs going in many different directions. And 
once the puppy is groomed and ready to go to a dog show, hairs are going to be going many different directions. Okay, now that we have our light brown, let's go back over the number two pencil with a dark brown. I'll add a few strokes in the middle. I don't want to get too heavy with that because I want the orange color to really shine through. And then before I add the mahogany color, I want to start blending it. Even when you blend it, you'll see all of the strokes that we were working so hard to get. But this will start to help give it a soft texture by adding this light tan color. It'll smooth the edges. Okay. And then let's go back to the face. So for our face, Let's use the gold where we added the number two pencil. Let's add those strokes. Okay, so I used my gold for the base coat. Now for the highlights, I'm going to use this tan color that we used for put it by the eyes, put it around the nose. In the ears. Okay, now let's start adding the red color. So I'm using the light brown, which has a reddish tone to it. I'm going back near our number two pencil lines. strokes now in the ears you can go darker as the ears are dark at least for this particular puppy and then let's add the dark brown Just add a little bit of shading on the face. I'm going to use the dark brown to really deepen tones. Great opportunity to really make the eyes pop. And I'm going to use it for paws. And a little bit of shadow by the paw. Now I'm just starting to blend that together. I'm going to use that light tan color that we were using before. 
I'm going to blend everything now. Just smooth it out and show that it's nice, soft fur. Take the mahogany color, add a little bit darker tone without going to the dark brown. Once you're satisfied with the fur color, then paint the dark brown and add some shading to the rest of the body. This should also have fur too. You want to make these lines a little fuzzy. You can see the hair. So I'm pretty happy with this. The next step is to take our number two pencil and hold it sideways and then add curly cues for the tile. This will mimic marble. You can get that marbleization look on the tiles. It also helps hide any smudges you might have made while drawing your puppy proportions. Now if you want the tile to be a different color, you can use a different color. You can make it darker or lighter. I have it a little bit lighter in my sample drawing. But by using the side of the pencil, you get that nice marbleization look. So not everything looks the same. Don't worry about getting some in the grout lines because you can go and erase that. Now before I do all the tile, I want to do, I have a ball here, but I, I wanted to try a frisbee in this drawing. I'm going to erase the lines a bit. I'm going to use a light green for the inside of my frisbee. 
that links about the same size as the ball. And then I'm going to add the second rim of the frisbee line. Now, if your dog has a favorite chew toy or food, you can draw that here. I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to use yellow to highlight. And a darker green to emphasize those boundary lines that we drew in. I'm going to make that rim a little bit darker, give it some depth. Now I'm not drawing the whole circle because half of it's in his mouth or her mouth. So that should be good. Add some shading in these little parts here. Then we'll go back to adding the rest of our tile. By swirling it you can get these interesting patterns that can mimic marble. You know if I use your finger and smooth it out a bit. Give it a more consistent gray tone. And finally, let's take our eraser and go over the grout lines. Emphasize them, draw them back in. And there you have it. There's our puppy. Thank you for joining us in Library Drawing Party. We hope to see you again next week. We have Library Drawing Parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.